Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Henry. Good evening, Susanna. Good evening, Jacqueline. Good evening, Anna, Jancy, Wilder. Hello. How are you? Good? Did you have a good day? What's your day? Good? Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Nice. What did you do today? What activities? Did you go to work? Did you study? Did you play? All right. Welcome to classes, everybody. I hope you're fine. I hope you're okay. It's time to start the class. It's time to start learning. The most important, okay? So today we're going to have, yes, that's only. Yes. Okay, this is our class number 11. Of course, we are in basic one. That's the level. The reminders that normal and usual reminders of the class we have, mm -hmm. right? To keep your silence button, to have your full name, yes, on your screen, to have your camera on, to participate in all the activities, and to use the chat, yes, to so say good evening, hello, how are you? I'm happy, I'm ready. Hi, Anna, good evening. Okay, to raise your hand if you want to ask Hi, a good question. Evening. Hello, Andrea. If you want to ask a question, if you want to participate, and of course, respect. Respect everybody at all times, right? That's very important. And of course, we have some other reminders, right? about the time of the class, about the exercises in the platform, about the attendance, which is also very important to be present in class, right? And of course, you have homework and exams on the platform. So you have to complete that, okay? And today is the class number 11. This is the third week. We have to complete section four and part of section five. So next week we can finish in good terms, right? <laughs> and we can finish on time, all the exercises, all right? So I see most people are connected now. It is time to have the attendance for the class. Let me see, here we go. Okay, remember, say present, okay? When you listen to your name, when I call your name, you say present. Let's, 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 let's move. It is Wednesday, June 14th, right? Yes, is that right? That's right. Okay, Adriana, Yvette. Hi, present. Hello. Ana Maria. Hi, present. Hello. Andrea Alejandra. Present, teacher. Hello. Carlos David Santos. Hello, Carlos David. Hi, present. Hi. Cecilia Yanet. Cecilia. Not here, Cecilia, tonight. Okay. Denia Magdelli. Denia. Erika Lisset. 
Present. Hello. Hello. Grecia María. Grecia. Not here. Henry. Present teacher. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Present Jacqueline. teacher. Hello. Good evening. Present. Jennifer. Maricela. Present. Hello. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Hey. Good evening. All right. Jorge Rene. Jorge Rene. Hi, teacher. Present. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hi, nice. Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Hello. María de la Paz. María Lourdes. María Lourdes. No here. Okay, Monica Eunice. Monica, Monica. Oh my God. Monica Mariela. Nelson Edgardo. Nelson. Oh goodness. Rosa Cándida. Rosa Ofelia. Present. Hello. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Hello. Sara Elena. Ok. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. How are Hello. you? Fine. What about you? Um, so, so. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy Melgar, oh, she's not here. Okay, Wilder. Hi, present. Nice. Jancy, Stephanie. Jancy. Hi, present. Hello, Jessica del Carmen. Yes. Hello, Jocelyn Marlene. Present. Hello. Good evening. Alguien no mencioné? Please tell me. Hola. Hola. Buenas noches. Genia, profe. Este, sí. Acabo de ingresar. No sé. Yo creo que ya me había mencionado. All right. Thank you. Ahorita le ponemos a tenders. All right. Thank you. Alguien más? Anybody else? Anybody else? No? Sure. Sure, sure. Okay, good. Vale. Veamos. Escríbanos en el chat qué están usando este día. Pues no es lo mismo que ayer, ¿verdad? I'm wearing blue jeans. I'm wearing white socks. I'm wearing... Si, y si yo parezco casi foto. Ay, no, Jenny. <ríe> Algo diferente va a ir que de ahora. Okay, I'm bye. wearing sunglasses. <ríe> ok, este, ¿cómo se dice calcetines? Socks. Vaya, ya no calcetines. I'm wearing no, pajamas. <ríe> nice. Hoy está haciendo frío. I'm wearing pajamas, dice Carla. Uh -huh. Teacher, how do you say lika in English? Leggings. Ah, leggings. Yes. Thank you. I'm wearing leggings. Uh-huh. I'm wearing a dress. Uh -huh. I'm wearing leggings. Hey, good evening, Sara. Sara, Sara. Okay, Sara, thank you. Ahorita le pongo su attendance. Don't worry. Ajá, vamos a ver qué más. What are you wearing? Solo Carla escrito. Ah, I'm wearing pajamas, Jessica. Oh my goodness, they están ready. Cuando esta clase finaliza, ¡pum! <laughs> Se apagan. I'm wearing blue jeans. I'm wearing leggings. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, two people wearing leggings. 
Okay, Susana and Anna, what a coincidence. Uh huh. I'm wearing socks and cap in a cap. Really, Carlos? Okay, Cecilia. Let me see. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes, okay. What else? I'm wearing pants and sweater. Oh, it's cold. Uh-huh. Excellent. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing socks and a black t-shirt, but I'm not wearing leggings, <laughs> okay? I'm wearing glasses. Nice, Anna. Very good. Uh-huh. Some people haven't participated on the chat. Uh-huh. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a dress tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing a blouse. Uh-huh. You can include the color, actually. I'm wearing a white blouse. I'm wearing a black, a red, a yellow blouse. I'm wearing blue shorts. I'm wearing gray shorts. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh-huh. I'm wearing... A, a, pink slippers. <laughs> I'm wearing pink slippers. That sounds good. I'm wearing purple shorts. I'm wearing red and black t-shirt. I'm wearing a black blouse. I'm wearing blue, black. All right. I'm wearing a camisole and shorts. All right. Nice. I'm wearing shorts. Oh, blue shorts. Really? What happened? I'm wearing a black, oh, I'm wearing black sneakers, actually. All right. Uh-huh. Black sneakers. All right. Excellent. Very good. Okay. I was mentioning that this is the third week, the la, ter la tercera semana. So the reminder is to complete section four and 50% of the section five, okay? Nice. All right, at the end of this session, at the end of this class, participants will be able to create sentences using possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Okay, we start with a conversation. No me digan nada. Just look at the picture. Y vean qué pueden describir de estas two ladies. Pat and Julie. Pat is wearing. Julie is wearing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Describan en el chat. Pat is wearing. Julie is wearing. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver quién es el primero. The fastest. Del occidente, del oriente, from the center. Pat is wearing, Julie is wearing. Yes. Miss, podría repetir, es que acá está empezando a llover. Y no, no escuché oh, bien no. la indicación. Ok, look at the picture. Tienen que ver el picture. Y describir qué están usando cada una de ellas. Pat is this lady. Julie is this lady. Uh -huh. Pat is wearing, y describe en lo que ella está usando. Julie is wearing, y describe en lo que ella está usando. Excellent. Pat is wearing a skirt. Julie is wearing boots. Uh -huh. Nice. What else? Pat is wearing an orange shirt or an orange blouse. Julie is wearing. Blue jeans, light blue jeans. Uh huh. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? 
Pat is wearing a black skirt. Mm -hmm. Julie is wearing brown boots or beige boots. Mm -hmm. Pat is wearing high heels. Julie is wearing a jacket. Okay, but it's wearing high heels, but it's wearing, yeah, Julie's wearing boots. Nice. One second, please, because of the rain as well. All right. Bye. Very good. Aparte de haber descrito lo que ellos están usando, ¿qué más me pueden decir de esta picture? ¿Qué está sucediendo acá? What's happening? Are you mm -hmm. the laundry? They are doing the laundry. Yes. yes. They are washing their clothes. They are drying their clothes too. And they put blue jeans and white clothes in the same machine. What a bad decision. <laughs> ¿Qué pudo haber pasado después de haber puesto este blue jeans y una white blouse? Se manchó. Ahora toda la ropa es... Light, light blue. blue. <ríe> ¿Qué hacemos nosotros cuando vamos a lavar ropa blanca y ropa de color? ¿Qué puede ser? Lavarla separada y si es prenda nueva, lavarla aparte en la lavadora. Exactly. Yo un poco. Separate. Y si es algo que es definitivamente delicado, a mano. <laughs> right? Separate it and just one special yes, clothing item separated. Totally separate. Okay, nice. Bye. I'm going to leer la conversation. Pay attention because later you will have to practice. But, great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Then Julie. What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Ah, uh, they're mine. Sorry. <laughs> Whose fault is it? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Julia. Julia. <laughs> Julia. Okay, Julie puts the blue jeans with the white clothes, with the white blouse, right? Uh -huh. So bad. One more time. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? 
no, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem, it's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, uh, they're mine, sorry. Excellent. ¿Alguna dificultad que consideren ustedes con alguna palabra, alguna pronunciation or difficult word? ¿No? En la palabra desastre es así como disaster. Disaster. Okay. What a disaster. It's a disaster. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa, teacher? Vale. Ahorita veremos esto. Tenemos posesión, palabras que denotan posesión. Cuando decimos my house, my car, my name, estamos hablando de algo mío y menciono el objeto después. Pero cuando he mencionado el objeto previamente, digo, es mine. For example, I can say, this cell phone is mine. También es mío, solo que la posición de la oración está al final porque previamente ya mencioné qué, qué objeto, right? So, ahorita le, vamos, le voy a, a encerrar acá los posesivos. Our clothes. Okay, where is my new blouse? Estos posesivos mencionan el objeto después. Por ejemplo, our clothes, my new blouse, yes, our clothes, nuestras ropas, my new blouse, mi camisa nueva, mi blusa nueva, okay, what color is it, it's white, here's a light blue blouse, is it yours, aquí ya estamos hablando de possessive, pero ya en forma de pronombre. Dibujé algo diferente. Ok, is yours. Aquí estamos hablando de un possessive pronoun. Ya no digo solamente your, sino que yours con la S, porque ya previamente mencioné la blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. No es mía. O no es la mía. Right? Aquí digo my new blouse. Y aquí digo it's not mine. Aquí ya había mencionado el objeto antes. Right? Wait. It is mine. Sí, es mía. Yes. It is. Este it ya está sustituyendo a la light blue blouse. It's a disaster. Oh, no. Our clothes, otra vez, ¿se fijan? Our clothes, aquí otra vez el mismo ejemplo. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem, it's this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? They're mine. Cuando quiero preguntar de quién, voy a utilizar el whose, de quién. Y la prenda. Whose book is this? Whose jeans are these? Whose car is this? Whose house is this? ¿De quién? Okay. Whose jeans are they? They're mine. Okay. Y aquí tenemos otra vez el mine. They're mine. Son míos. Ya solo digo míos. Ya no digo mío jeans. Sino que... Their mind, porque ya previamente mencioné los jeans. Yes, así funciona el uso de los possessive adjectives en possessive pronouns. Pero ahorita, para efectos de práctica, solo enfoquémonos en la donation, pronunciation, vocabulary. Este es un tema que justamente viene después y lo vamos a explicar. Aquí solo es como una intro. Yes. Ok, teacher, thank you. No problem. Ok. Vale. Compartimos la conversación. ¿Alguna dificultad?
Háganla saber, no problem. Let's see. A small groups of three. Go. No sé si quiere empezar usted, empiece o empiece. Uh -huh. Bueno, algo así, ¿verdad? Sí, hay que hacerlo con eh, No sé si va a empezar usted o empiezo yo, cualquiera de las dos. Si gusta, empieza entonces. Amba. Bueno, yo, yo ahí como diga lo voy a decir, porque por lo menos, porque por lo menos es como que no. Bueno, Great o o Glow. A three gray gray is my navy blues. Sí, creo que. Okay, what color is it? Gray. What color is it? Pero creo que sí se pronuncia usted. Gray, pero. Ah, guay. It's white. What? White. Okay. Greet our clubs, Audrey. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's right. Here's a little blue. Is <laughs> it yours? No, it's not mine. Why is it mine? It's a dis dis disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All our clothes are the link blue. Here's the problem. Is this... Is this navy blues jeans? Whose jeans are they? Who they might? Sorry. Bueno, ahora va la otra compañera. ¿Cómo se sigue? Sí, Perdón. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Todo bien. Iniciamos. Sí. Okay. Eh, ¿Voy con Pat o inicias tú? Sí, está bien, inicia. Great. Oh, clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It is. Is it white? Heather. A light blue blues. It is yours. No, it's not mine. Uh, why it is mine? It's a uh, disaster. Oh no! Uh, our clothes are light blue. Uh, here. Green. Our clothes are dream. Where is my new blues? Tiene apagado el micrófono, Sandrita. ¿verdad? Sigo yo entonces. Sí. Where is my blues? No, te iba con la otra. 
Ah, con la, con la. Ah, sí, sí, sí. What uh -huh. color is it? Is white. Here's a light blue. Blues. Is it yours? No, it's not my. Why is it is my is a disaster? Oh no, all or clothes are light blue. Here's the problem is this new blue jeans. Who jeans are they? Oh, they, they're my rage. Ah, ya nos están llamando. Todavía no. No, todavía no. Ah, vaya. Ahorita, ya le digo. Eh, great, great, or close are they? What is my new blues? What color is it? It's great. Here's a light blue blues. It's yours. No, it's not mine. Why it's my it's the saucer? Oh no. All our clothes are like blue. Here's the problem. Is the these new blue jeans? What jeans are they? Oh green with our clothes. Arjun, where is my new blues? Well, what color is it? Okay. Oh, ya vamos para la reunión. Aún oh, no. Ah, bye. Ah, pues inicio. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not my white. It is my, it's a desert. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this is new blue jeans? Uh, whose jeans are they? Oh, they're my. Sorry. My arrow said us. Okay. Empiece. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What is color it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not my. Wait, it is my. Is a disaster? Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is it's this new blue new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're, they're my sorry. Okay. Eh, que era our?
Okay. Any question? Is there any question? Yes, Jorge? Hola, hi. <coughs> eh, la pronunciación, what is the pronunciation de in pat? Mm -hmm. eh, all, all clothes or, or lealo? Great, our clothes are dry. What? Our clothes. Our? Our. 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 Uh -huh. Our. 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 Yeah. Our clothes are dry. On the clothes. Yes. Okay. Our clothes. Clothes are dry. Okay, continue. Where is my new blouse? Blouse. Yes. Y para What? decir blue, uh -huh. blue blouse. Blue blouse. Blue blouse. Yes. Es que se me traba la lengua. <laughs> <laughs> More practice, like Tom Twister, <laughs> como el traba lengua. Like Peter Parker yeah. picked up the copy of papers. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Next question is Tuli. What color is it? Is it? What uh, color is it? It's a fat. It's white. It's white. Hair. Here's. Here's. Here's a light blue blouse. Blue blouse. Light okay. blue blouse. Blue it's blouse. a disaster. All right. No, it's not mine. Wait. It is mine. It's a disaster. Mm. Yes. Como, como cuando tenemos terremotos, hurricanes y esas cosas. It's a disaster. Yes? Oh, no. All, 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 all our clothes are like blue. Our clothes. Our clothes are like blue. Our clothes. Este es como a of our. Our. Exactly. Our. Con pauta, our. Our. Our house, our country, our class, yes, nuestro. Our, ¿qué significaría our? Nuestro, nuestro, en este caso. Porque they are talking about the different items of clothes, the jeans, the blouse, the chores, the socks, the our dress. Clothes. Our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Here's the problem, is these new blue jeans. Whose jeans? Whose? Whose? Whose, exactly. Whose jeans are they? Whose? Who is, como usted contracta who is, pero whose, de un solo. Whose okay. jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay. Anything else? I am asked. Only that. Okay. <laughs> Someone else? Oh, what a disaster. Ahí también hay, hay como un poco trágico el acento, ¿verdad? Porque un desastre no es algo que anima. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, what a disaster. Okay. Exagera para que bien. Exaggerate. Okay, good. Algún tip, Miss, para saber diferenciar la pronunciación de nuestros con el de horas, que yo tiendo a confundir bastante el, el hours con <laughs> las el, palabras oh. que suenan parecidas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo le iba a dar tips a Jennifer para lavar, dije yo, lo blanco aparte. Le iba a decir. <laughs> Gracias, our, compañero. Our... Our, bueno, aquí podría ser cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Cualquier objeto que, me, que nos pertenezca, más bien dicho, a mí y a alguien más. En conjunto. We can say our house. Yes. Our class. Our, sorry. Our jeans. 
whatever. Y la hora, like how many hours? Three hours. Hours. This is hour. Hours. Muy parecido, la verdad. Quizás en esto, one hour. El contexto también. Yes. Gracias. All right. No problem. Perfect. Ok, la explanation, la explicación de los possessive. Lo tienen en este cuadrito. I guess you already seen it. Ya lo han detectado por ahí. Los possessive adjectives es algo que usted menciona a quién le pertenece y lo que pertenece o el objeto, la pertenencia está después. These are my socks. These are your socks. These are his socks. These are her socks. These are our socks. And these are their socks. Aquí podría ser cualquier otra cosa. Socks, pants, jeans, t-shirt, house, glass, whatever. Right? Mine is para I, your, you, his, he, her, she, our, we, their, they. Yes? De acuerdo a los pronombres, así va cada uno de los poses. Entonces, si se fijan, voy a recalcar acá con un... la palabra socks está después del possessive adjective. Y acá está antes. Por eso usamos un possessive pronoun. These socks are mine. Ya no voy a usar my. Yes? Porque si yo previamente menciono el objeto que se posee, entonces uso my. Si fuera mío. Right? These socks are yours. Aquí solo le agrego la S. These socks are his. His es el único que se mantiene igual. His socks. Socks are his. Her. These socks are hers. With S. These socks are ours. With S. These socks are theirs. With S. Entonces prácticamente a todos estos procesos lo único que le agregamos es S. His se mantiene igual y my, my cambia a my. Yes. Otra forma muy común de possessive es el nombre apóstrofe es Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. Y para preguntar qué decimos, whose, whose blouse is this? It's Pat's. Whose jeans are these? They are Julie's. No sé si se han fijado en algunos negocios que dice Rebecas Salón. Yes, Natalia Beauty Boutique. Entonces eso significa que es un negocio de esa persona. Por eso le ponen apóstrofe es. Aquí en este, en este contexto no es la contraction de Pat is blouse, porque si no diría Pat es una blusa, pero no, estamos hablando de la blusa de Pat. Yes, Renes House. Yes, <ríe> si estuviéramos hablando de la casa de René, en este caso, right? Por eso ponemos apostrofías. Yes, questions? No questions. Oh, good. Vamos a los ejercicios donde tenemos que aplicar esto de los possessive adjectives y los possessive pronouns. Acá se los ponen muy fácil porque les están dando las dos opciones. Ustedes tienen que decir si corresponde utilizar el possessive adjective o el possessive pronoun. El possessive adjective si el objeto está mencionado después. Pero si el objeto ya está mencionado previamente, va a ser el possessive adjective. El possessive pronoun, I'm sorry. Yes? For example, is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers. 
escribo hers con ese porque ya no tengo have aquí. ¿Sí? Sino que lo sobreentiendo que es it's. It's not hers. It's my or mine. Uh -huh. Mine. It's mine. Sí, aquí tendría que ser it's mine. ¿Por qué? Se ha mencionado previamente, no está después. Yes. Vaya, vale, sigamos con la otra. Are these your or yours gloves? Yours. Con ese sin ese. With it. Sin ese, yeah. porque aquí está gloves después del adjective, oh. right? Uh -huh. yeah. So, are these your gloves? Yes, entonces tengo your gloves. Pero si dijera, are, are these gloves? Ahí sí tendría que ser yours, porque yeah. gloves ya está mencionado antes, right? No, they're not my or mine gloves. My gloves. They're not my gloves. Yes, they're not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they are her or hers gloves. Her. Maybe they are her gloves, right? Porque también tengo gloves acá otra vez, right? Voy a dejar estos acá y ustedes van a resolver Conversation three and conversation four. Okay. Let's see. Let's the same go. groups. Tiene algún lapicero ahí. Lapicero. Si tenés ahí algún. Sí, ahorita la he Comienzan ustedes. Tres somos, ¿verdad? Mm, cuatro. Pero primero tenemos que completar lo de abajo. Ah, vaya. Lo de la tres, yo digo que es... Uy, sí. Sí, Jus. Uh -huh. Porque está preguntando como de quién es. Ajá. Jus. No sé qué opinan los demás. Yes, who's? Sería de ir o de ir, de ir, quizás donde dice no, de ir, no, de ir, o de ir, o que es or, creo que sería no, o es solo or, creo que sí va, solo or, sí. Yo creo que 
Bueno, no sé. Arriba es ors y abajo es ors. No es arriba. Creo yo. No, porque está mencionando después close. Close. Mm -hmm. Sería. Yo creo que la segunda. Dayers. Dayers. Porque es como plural, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Considero. They their teacher book did the show. They teacher book this socks are they they la primera el nave there's are these Hola. Sería justicia aquí. Un fax. Ajá. Una vez sería no, they are not. They are not there. Así. They. En la B, pero donde dice cheers y theirs sería. Cheers, they cheers. First, but these socks are. Are theirs. Primero sería no, they are not. They are teachers. But um, socks are theirs. Hello. You finish. Hello, teacher. Tell me. Si sí, tengo una pregunta, discúlpeme, yeah. pero estaba trabajando y no le puse atención. Don't worry, it's okay. Este, ¿Cuándo se usa con ese, por ejemplo, hours? Cuando previamente se han mencionado los objetos que se poseen. Por ejemplo, ah. si digo, this computer is mine, this computer is yours, so this computer is hers, this computer is ours, pero ya mencioné la computer ah. antes. Y si no, ah. my computer, my socks, your computer, your house, his house, ¿ya? Yeah. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Creo que sí lo entendí. Muchísimas gracias. No problem. Creo. <risa> Entonces, en la cuatro iba, papá. Okay. Bueno, la number one, number two, ya la habíamos resuelto, ¿verdad? Vamos al number three. Whose or your teachers are these? Whose? <clears throat> exactly, because it's a question. Whose t-shirts are these? Are they Julie's and Pat's? No, they're not. They're, they're, they're t-shirts. 
no menciona t-shirts al final, entonces digo, they are not their t-shirts, sin ese, right? But these socks are theirs, con ese. Theirs, porque theirs. Son, ya están mencionados antes, right? Yes, theirs, with S. Yes, but these socks are theirs. And you... these shorts are yours. 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 Because shorts is mentioned here, so yours with S too. And these shorts are yours. Hey, these are not our or ours clothes. Our. Our. Okay. Our clothes. You're right. Our oh, or yeah. ours are over there. Oh, oh. Ours. ours. Oh. Exactly. Ours oh. are over there. Oh. Yes, that's it. Excellent. Any question? No? No. Okay, good. Bye. Para que practiquen mañana, tomorrow, for practice, for fun, les voy a dejar un ejercicio. Voy ahorita a copiar el link en su WhatsApp group y me confirman si ustedes logran accesar a este link y qué ejercicio les sale. Yes. Deben click en enter. <laughs> Uh -huh. ¿Hay alguien que nos comparta qué hay que hacer en ese exercise? ¿Qué ejercicio parece? Remember in circle. Ay, me salí de la red. Read and write the correct number in the circle. Ajá, ¿verdad? Ahí le salió una description de qué es lo que están usando cada una de las personitas que están abajo al fondo y usted va a arrastrar el número al circle. La number one, she's wearing a pink hat, jeans and pink boots. Va a buscar la personita que tenga eso, va a agarrar el numerito y lo va a arrastrar hasta el círculo. Yes? Okay. Clear? Yes. Ya, yeah. esto es para que se entretengan mañana. <laughs> <laughs> if you are boring, si que lo quieren hacer ahorita no hay problema. Cuando lo hayan okay. resuelto todo, se van hasta abajo, le dan finish. Les va a dar dos opciones: revisar sus answers o enviarse la, la respuesta a la ficha. Usted de una vez re, revise sus answers, a ver cuánto se sacó. Y si lo quiere volver a hacer para corregir las que puede ser que no estén tan claras, lo puede volver a hacer. Yes? Okay. Clear? Yes. Clear, clear. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. Please. Yes. Este, yo no sé si me voy a poder conectar mañana. Este, si en caso no me puedo conectar, si lo voy a hacer saber. Es que mi hermana está en el hospital y no sé si me va a tocar really? cuidarla. Sorry yes. to hear that. Yeah, thank you very much. She okay? Um, so, so. Se le estalló la... la la, la, la cosa es el apendicitis y le dio, tiene peritonitis y entonces está está bien mal oh my god but she's gonna be alright she's yeah. gonna be fine yeah thank you All very right. much no problem okay good night everybody rest 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 nice to see you tomorrow good night See you. Bye. 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 Bye.